Good morning, everyone. My name is Colin McGee. I'm the CEO of Logical Blue. And with me today is my colleague, Bob DeCoe, our principal data scientist. Now, Logical Blue is indeed a user-friendly machine learning as a service platform for creating the most accurate predictive models and deploying them for your business so you can make better decisions in real time. Now, insurance carriers have long been familiar with using statistical models, particularly in pricing teams. But increased competition, changing customer behavior, and the advent of big data, in particular the volume and variety of data sources now available, present new challenges and significant new opportunities. Firstly, there's the potential to use existing data assets, not just in pricing, but across the entire customer lifecycle. So from lead acquisition to customer retention, from fraud detection to claims management. Secondly, the availability of new data sources presents the opportunity to build accurate models for new and differentiated products, better tailored to your customer needs. And thirdly, the ever-increasing flow of data from new and existing sources means there's more important than ever to be able to uh, rapidly refresh uh, and deploy models so that you maintain model accuracy, manage risk, and gain greater customer insight. <coughs> However, the challenge with realizing all of these opportunities is that the traditional process for predictive analytics, um, creating and deploying the models, is typically lengthy, error-prone, and inaccessible to too many areas of the business. So on that note, I'm going to hand over to Bob, who's going to show you how Logical Glue has been designed from the ground up to address these challenges. Bob. Thanks, Colin. So if we can just uh, switch to the screen, please. So um, thanks. I'm going to go through a couple of use cases which are really going to emphasize how doing predictive analytics differently can drive value across the customer lifecycle. I'm going to start with a product recommendation model on an existing data set. So here, you can see our five-stage pipeline we use for all models. It'll take you from raw data through to live deployment. Now, if I go to data sets, I've loaded the data in already, and we can see a good mix of socio-demographic data and existing policy data on this customer. And the platform has automatically classified all these columns, or features, as we call them, uh, that would normally be a slow, laborious, and potentially error-prone process to do manually. If we choose one age, we can go in and see the range and distribution of the data and the mix between good and bad prospects. But what we really want to know is which of these features are going to help us make a more accurate prediction of who is going to buy a policy. And that's where we use our feature selection tool. Now, feature selection will test and rank all the features in your data and show by, as you're removing them, which ones are the most powerful predictors. So here you can see we're starting with all 85 features, and the platform is step by step removing the least predictive ones. And in fact, you can see if we drop down to just 36 features, that actually gives a better model performance. We can see this number's higher. And that's because we've removed a lot of the noise from the features that have been taken away. However, remove any more, and we see performance start to drop off. Now, insurers are increasingly keen to acquire and understand new data sets, but it's very important that they understand which parts of that data are valuable and predictive. So this feature selection tool will allow them to target those, especially if they've got hundreds or thousands of data points to go through, focus and reduce their data acquisition costs. Now, we can choose our number of features, move through to our model build screen. And here we have three best of breed techniques within the platform. We have the best statistical technique, we have the best machine learning technique in neural networks, and we have the best for insight, allowing you to see why a decision has been made. Now, we've proven these techniques to outperform the GLM models that are used traditionally in insurance in terms of the probability of assessing whether someone will make a claim or not. Now, for any model we build, we can look at its performance. We get a range of statistical measures to assess it. And using our ensemble technology, we can combine models to actually improve overall accuracy as well. Colin. Thanks, Bob. So to recap on where we are so far, we've seen it's possible to rapidly build models on an automated basis. We've seen the value that particular data has, and we have all the data science tools at our disposal needed to see the performance of the models. However, we have no idea yet how suitable this model is for our business needs, uh, what it could drive in terms of P&L. We haven't yet seen the model deployed in production, and we don't have insight into our customers, yet all three are possible with the Logical Blue platform. So to demonstrate this, Bob is now going to switch projects to a classic use case, predicting the probability of a claim in motor insurance. Bob. 
Thanks, Colin. So here you see our pipeline again, but it's now for a claims model. Now, in this case, we've only got eight features, so we're not going to need a feature selection. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to choose a model that I built earlier, and I'm going to show you how our prescriptive analytics tool can be used to drive business value. So what we've done here is create a set of buckets, and those buckets represent ranges of scores from the model. The higher the score, the more likely an applicant is to make a claim. So if we focus on this first bucket here, any applicant the model puts in here is a good prospect. They're very likely to be a non-claimant. But setting the right threshold for this bucket is a trade-off between writing enough policies and having too many claims. Now, what this tool allows you to do is to dynamically change that threshold and see how it affects your profitability. So we raise it slightly, and we see now we've written a lot more policies. Our average profit per policy has stayed broadly the same, so that's good for business. Now, this tool can also be used for other use cases. For example, product recommendation. We can segment our population according to who are the best possible leads. Or also another one is claims management, where you can create buckets according to how likely a claim is to be fraudulent. Now, for any model we build in the platform, we can deploy it with one click into the cloud. Now, from there, once it's deployed, we can make a live call to it via an API and get a score back instantly. We can also make a bulk call to the model where we run thousands or even millions of applications through and have them scored within seconds. And because the platform's API-driven, it can fit in easily into your existing processes. Now, in terms of insight, our fuzzy logic technology creates a set of human interpretable rules from your data, with those rules weighted according to how well they can classify whether someone is likely to make a claim or not. For every applicant that passes through the model, they will fire some of those rules. And that's going to create this holistic picture of the application. So in this case, for example, we can see this applicant has fired a number of non-claim rules on the left, but they're overshadowed by these two powerful claim rules on the right, meaning that overall, it's a claim decision. Now, this can be used by underwriters for getting more color around borderline cases in a more quantitative manner. And it can also be used to uncover hidden patterns and gain new insight on your data. Now, we can drill down into any of these rules and see every individual within the population who matches those criteria. We, need, we can also rank all the rules in terms of their importance, so we can see for the population as a whole what is driving the data. But remember, these rules are not hard-coded. They're driven from whatever data you start with, from your raw data. So the rules would look very different for a fraud case or for a product recommendation case. It's a purely data-driven process. Colin. Thanks, Bob. So to summarize what we've seen, Logical Glue lets you build powerful predictive models that help you unlock the value of your data assets across the entire customer lifecycle. You move from raw data inputs to the most accurate models deployed in production following an easy five-stage pipeline. You can identify which data is most valuable to your business, enabling you to reduce data costs, as well as to exploit new data sources and incorporate them uh, in new models for new products. You can tune the models to your exact business needs, be it, for example, for a targeted marketing campaign or for a more accurate pricing model. And last but not least, you get a detailed rule set explaining how and why each prediction has been made, allowing you to gain greater customer insight. A logical glue we believe that good data science doesn't have to be rocket science. So please do come and talk to us afterwards about how you can deploy better predictive analytics within your business. Thank you.